Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this flower. First open a new document and make sure your ruler is showing. If it's not, press the Ctrl and R keys on your keyboard. Next we will set guidelines that will help us with our drawing. Click in the corner, hold and drag your mouse to the center of the artboard. While still holding your mouse, press and hold the Ctrl key as well. Now release your mouse and then release the key. Now we will draw the first segment of our flower, which is the petal. To do that, press the letter P for the pen tool, or choose it from the toolbar panel. First click on this intersection. Now holding down the shift key, click over here to make a straight line. Then click somewhere here, hold and drag. And finally click on the guideline, hold and drag. Next we will copy and reflect this part to the other side. Using the selection tool, drag a box to select everything. Then either press the letter O for the reflect tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now holding down the Alt key, click on this anchor point to set the reflection point. Choose vertical axis and click copy. Next press the letter A for the direct selection tool and drag a box to select these two end anchor points. Now right click with your mouse and choose join. Let's select everything and we will change the stroke width and the profile. To do that, go to your stroke panel, change the weight to 3 points, then click on the profile pull down menu and select the width profile number 6. Next we will add a few lines to this petal so it will look like this. To do that, first let's change the fill to none. Now switch to the pen tool and click on the bottom left side of this pedal. Next move to the top and holding down the shift key click somewhere here to get a straight line. In the next few steps we will add three extra lines and curve them just like you can see on the image below. Using the selection tool select this line, now holding down the shift and alt keys Move it to the other side to make a copy. And we will need two extra lines and space them equally. To do that, first select both lines, then go to Object, Blend and select Blend Options. Set the spacing to specified steps and type 2. Now go to Object again. Select Blend and choose Make. Let's change the stroke weight to 3. Now go to Effect, Warp and choose Bulge. Choose Vertical and change the bend to about 21. Just see what works for you. Now with the lines still selected, choose the Width Profile number 4. Just experiment with different styles. You can leave it as it is or you can change the stroke color to gray. In the next step we will rotate this petal around the circle and make extra copies. First go to Object and select Expand Appearance. This step is necessary to keep the inner lines proportional. Now select everything and let's move it up a bit. And finally we are ready to rotate it and make more copies. To do that press the letter R on your keyboard for the rotate tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now holding down the Alt key click on this intersection to set the rotation point. Type 40 for the angle and click copy. Then press the Ctrl and D buttons 7 times to get more copies. 
In the next step we will make the center part of our flower that looks like this. First let's change the fill to black. Now go to the rectangle tool and select the star tool. Click on this intersection, hold and drag. While holding your mouse press the up arrow key several times to create more points. Next we will copy and scale this star several times. To do that press the letter S on your keyboard for the scale tool and press enter. Type 90 for the uniform and click copy. Now press the Ctrl and D keys several times to make more copies. Next we will change the fill of every other star to white. First let's zoom in. Now using the direct selection tool select the second star from the bottom and change its color to white. And do the same with the other stars. Now select the bottom star and if you like you can add a black stroke to it, change its weight and add a drop shadow effect. Just experiment. And finally let's hide the guides. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.